are you welcome back to my channel today this is Chandima Sarkar and today I am welcoming you all after one month I am uploading this video after one month so please forgive me that I didn't post it a didn't post it at least one video so please forgive me for that today I want to talk with you uh, talk with you all and also want to uh, finish the pending work that I um, that I left, that I was not able to do because of my exams, because because of my exams in the last month. So yes, I finished my exams and I passed my exams. I got seventy percent and I am graduated now. And after that, after the last exam, I shifted with my dad. I left Jaipur and I shifted to my dad. And after coming from after coming from Jaipur, after the shifting, after completing the shifting, then I went to my mom. After a very long period of time, I me I met I met mom. Um, at least it was two years. So I had a great fun, and the trip uh, extended to seven days. And then I after seven days I came back, and now I'm here. I thought that I should post one video at least because I am absent. Um, because I was absent uh, from the last it, it is it has been one it has been one month that I am absent on YouTube so I thought to upload this video and I'm uploading it I'm talking to you <laughs> and one more thing there was it was there that I hesitate too much in front of people and my dad live in a society live in a building where a lot of people are there so I hesitate. I am an introvert type of person, but I hesitate too much in front to record uh, in front of uh, many people. As you know, ball also have ears. In all this, it became up to one month. It became up to one month. I didn't posted a single video, and I was thinking to make videos for you, but each. But believe me, I was thinking to make videos for you. But each time I was facing some hurdles because of some obstacles. Because of that, I was I was unable to complete my video recording. Then I thought I was having a video uh, recording of of a sketch uh, that I made of my mom, and I was thinking I was. I'm oh, sorry. I thought to post that uh, post that sketch video on. Uh, Mother's Day, but I was somehow I was unable to post it, and now I thought that I I should post that video because I don't have anything. But uh, that sketch is good. You should see that. I will upload that video in this video only, and you should observe and um, just watch this video till the end. Till the end. And one more thing, I want to talk with you. I want to share you. That I had experienced in the in this last one month. Um, two of the things I just experienced. Two things I experienced in the last one month. First, never decide your future by listening to your relatives or or the other persons. You take knowledge from them, but never decide your future. Never keep your future on the um, on other person on any other person hand and. On any other relative, because they are the people. They are the people who will fill your ears with, uh, with different different things. And after, after that, after a, after a period of time, when you will, when you will get success, or you will get, you will start, you will start to get pain in that same field. Then you will. Then they will just say, they will just complain that um, you should have studied in that field and you should have go, you should have gone to that field. You will, um, then you will be, you would have become. Then you would have become this and that. What is the, um, um, sorry, uh, what is the use to say that now? There is no use of saying that now. When you had. Uh, done when you had done the filling um, done the job of filling years of our uh, fathers and mothers and guardians um, a few years ago there is no use uh, so i so i just simply suggest you that please don't decide your future by listening to your relatives or 
your uh, or any other person that you do next thing next at each and every step of your life you have if you have your dream um, uh, each and every step of your life if you have some dream then please forget your emotions you have to you just have to go on in the path that you have led just think uh, just believe on yourself and just um, forget your emotions forget your any type of feelings that is um, that is becoming an obstacle in the path of your dream so just just believe in you and go on and forget your emotions if you are if you want to achieve your dream and the second part second part of this video is that i was yeah i told you that i was up to uploading a video of a sketch video of my mom but i somehow i was not able to do that at that time before um, before the mothers day i was thinking that what gift should i um, give to my mom but um, i thought a lot and i at the last at last i thought that anything that i would buy for mom buy for my mm, buy for my mummy <laughs> that would be not worth it because 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 today i am here to show you the sketch of my ma i mean i can sketch her in paper or sheet i cannot sketch her in real because she is the one who sketch me in real i think she is the very creative and the biggest artist i have ever known because she created me inside her body her cells made my made my face like a doll i remember my ma and baba used to say me that when i was born by seeing me when i was when you were born you were just like a doll that even one of my name is doll one of my baba's friend still keep me calling doll so she created me that way but believe me my ma is more beautiful than me even now she is 40 plus but her skin glows even now she didn't got the chance to study more but to become and to become what she want to wanted to but she never left the stream to make our dreams to get fulfilled my r i mean me and my sis my sis is an extraordinary book lover and intelligent girl but i wanted to be an artist i got this desire of making sketching and painting and to become an artist when i was small many hurdles came in my life but i am lucky to have ma beside me now that now she she all she remain always with me and to support me and to help me to get everyone support before the mothers day i was thinking that what gift should i give her but then i thought for my ma that everything that i would buy from the market would not be worth it then a thought came to me that her largest gift is to have me and my sis in her life to have two different precious stones of different quality which is rough from outside but shinier from inside this is all that i can give you ma i love you ma